okay, it's okay. Let's do it. Mm. What's up? What's going on? What's going on? Okay, bye. I'll call you back. <laughs> What's up? Yo. Oh. How are you? How are you? I'm great, yaar. I'm feeling alive again. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> this is so funny. I'm doing this for the first time. <laughs> Let me call someone from your story. Hello. What's up? Having fun and surprising people once in a while is integral to building long-term relationships. And who better than Shraddha Sharma, arguably one of the best networkers in town, to talk about this? Yeah, you know, so first I will talk about networking as a word. Networking assumes that you're working, right? But to me, networking is just, uh, or interacting is just a very natural part. Like you're brushing your teeth, you're just thinking of starting up, you're dreaming, you're living. So, so is networking. The It's very important for startups because you have to go and cultivate relations and relations give back to you in such such humongous way that you will be surprised like that would be one of the biggest assets value that you will create for yourself how do you do networking best to me what i follow all the time is uh, give give a lot if you give to a relationship you get a lot and 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 in your story we've given i hope in our own way a lot and that's why it comes back it's magical and and i would urge every each and every startup please do it don't believe it's working don't think that you can't do it because as human beings we are born as human beings we are social we can go and talk and that would be one of the biggest biggest thing that you do for your startup so network apple has been seeing very low market share in india and india is touted to be the next billion dollar market for apple Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, is in India with a delegation. He's been meeting entrepreneurs, he's meeting the Prime Minister, he's opening a new center in Hyderabad, and they're also talking about a new accelerator in Bangalore. So who else is giving space to startups? It's Namma Metro. The Bangalore Metro that has been seeing increased ridership is giving space in bigger stations to startups. So if you are now asked which platform you're working on, you'd now say Platform 1 or Platform 2 and not Java or .NET. A featured startup this time is in fintech and they're solving a very pertinent problem faced by small retailers. Let's hear from them. My father runs a small garment shop. So what I used to say is that uh, whenever there is like uh, people who buy from him and they want that uh, amount to be in credit. So, so what happened that he used to write that he has to collect from this person on that date. So oh, they never used to come up on that particular date. and. My father used to like uh, run after them, and that that lead to like loss of money and like bad relationship uh, with the customer, like loss of customer, loss of time. Many billing system are there. Uh, there are many desktop solution. But my father, he not even able to move the cursor in desktop, right? They they don't know how to use the software wherein uh, they have to create a bill and send it to customer to to have the organized data. So that is where we to, we thought we'll make an interface just like WhatsApp. Where if WhatsApp has contact messages and groups and all this stuff, we have items, bills, and contacts just in a similar manner. So it is 
so it gives a experience to the user as an a simple uh, way to create a bill so that is where we place ourselves so they know they, they know how to buy an iphone but they don't know how to actually use an iphone so that is where we are also learning and we are also understanding that uh, there is a language barrier that we need to actually cater it to it was adventure at the start obviously we are going to a high and low daily it's literally <laughs> uh not at all pleasure on a personal front but you need to get it going because you know in a long run you you're going to get success head start network the voluntary organization that fosters entrepreneurship celebrated the 100th startup saturday in bangalore kudos to them for 8 years of hard work and helping startups chase their dreams today startups with their new ideas are forcing the government to work harder the government is having to set up different committees for different regulations one such example is a competition committee of india that has been asked to study cash bags now cash bags are a form of discounting and the committee will check if companies are selling products at lower cost than production cost which is not allowed in india our customers love us A handful of friends and family know about us and they give sympathy. We've raised an undisclosed amount from an investor. We've got a few lakhs. The government is not doing enough for us. We need free space, free Wi-Fi and funds without interest. These startup events are a waste of time. Not when I'm speaking. Our wish is to become the most disruptive cloud-based mobile first cross-channel integrated consumer platform. This is what I found on Google. Everyone has a late night craving once in a while and when we had one we ventured out to see what was on offer the number of options for late night food has gone on the rise and if you want to chomp on bacon and cheese and pot kick out the jams will come to your rescue well it started with this punk song that we are all for fan of by mc5 it basically means live life party on it's time to kick out the jams and since we are a late night delivery we thought we'll stick to that name you don't actually see a kind of food at this time right yeah. now you have uh, your empires and your late night food deliveries but none of them serve like you know, our kind of food so people late night when they come back from parties and all that they want junk they want like you know guilt food it, yeah guilt food <laughs> they don't want they don't want healthy, healthy salad at night yeah. they want like lot of cheese and bacon the customers are calling back and saying like yeah, we like some lunch also they guys you know like cool okay month on month we've been having exceptional growth so when we started out like we all had uh, other jobs and now we see this business is actually booming and we are thinking you know i have quit my job now he's quit his job so we are all getting in full time so it's going really well well when we started out actually we didn't really see any competition we were that's actually really cocky of us also <laughs> uh we actually saw no competition at all we like okay this is a good industry and right now bacon is literally a meme the cops have been the least of our challenges actually but yeah they are just there to annoy <laughs> they just can't really help it <laughs> they're up at night and everything and yeah uh, as of now we're not really bribed anyone or anything but yeah we've given the free food the one big challenge faced by app developers has been users uninstalling the app after use because of space constraints or just one time use at io this year google announced a new update where you can use android apps without downloading them for example if you are searching for a review of a restaurant you do a search and you get content from zomato even if you have an installed zomato so if you are a mac maker watch out for this update one of our fans asked this question on twitter how can i get more organic traction on facebook the reach seems to get lower with every passing day The best advice I can give to all social media, especially to Facebook marketers, is F score. These days, if, as you know, that the organic reach is six percent alone for any of the Facebook page. So, if you do a reverse calculation, that means if you need to reach, let's say, thousand people with your update, that means you need to have a fan base of fifteen thousand people. Then only you can reach two thousand. So, what is the best way you can increase your organic reach from six percent to almost hundred percent or hundred and fifty percent? That is called F score. You, can, the more you score, more your update will reach to the number of people. How you can do is. there are three things one is comment one is share and one is like so what facebook has done internally though it has not said officially 
they have got the number for each activity. For comment, it is three points. For share, it is two points. And for like, it is one point. So just to give an example, suppose for a particular update on your page, if you've got three comments, two shares and one like, that means your score will be around 14. But if you've got, let's say, nine likes and no comment and no share, that means your score is nine. So the first one where the number of likes are less, the shares are less, but the comments are more, that no, total number of F score is 14. That means your growth and that means your reach will be much higher as compared to any other update. So try to get more and more comment and share. Focus on that. Automatically, your organic reach will shoot up from 6% to almost 80 to 90% without spending a single penny on Facebook. If you have any questions, tweet them to us on at denture underscore capital and we'll get them answered by experts. In the last week's contest, we asked you to unscramble the words to find the commonly used startup term. The winner of the contest is Sridhar Rao. Congratulations! You won yourself Denture Capital Original Merchandise. So here's this week's contest. Identify the very popular startup founder from the image shown. Tweet to us at Denture underscore capital with the hashtag contest08 and win Denture Capital Original Merchandise. Have fun, keep networking and stay ambitious.